Hi, I'm Rowan Taylor, Director of Financial Services here at Blackburn. One of the most common questions that we get asked, and I think gets asked at pretty much every dining table and barbecue around the country, is what makes a better investment, shares or property? It's probably been the source of a lot of arguments around those dining tables as well, because every year there's always research that comes out favouring one versus the other. We get asked that question a lot at Blackburn, so what is the answer? Well, I'll let you know that in a moment. But as you can see, recently released research shows that over the last 10 years, that shares have averaged 8.7% capital growth per annum. When we compare that to the property market, the property market has averaged 6.1% per annum. Over a 20 year period, shares have averaged 9.2% per annum and the property market has averaged 9.9% per annum. So let's have a think about that. Now that is averaging every share in Australia over that entire period of time. And it's also taking into account the average performance of every property market in and around Australia. Now we know that Tasmania hasn't performed very well over the last 15 to 20 years. We know that Sydney, Melbourne, Perth and Brisbane has performed really well. So I wonder what happens if we take out some of the lower performing markets and look at, well, what happens if Perth versus the share market over the last 20 years, or Melbourne versus the share market over the last 20 years? Well, that's the rub. There isn't any statistics that we can use that shows the direct comparison. So when figures like this come out, then the question gets asked, should I buy property or should I buy shares? Well, there's a couple of things that you need to have a think about with that. Okay. Firstly, what's your risk profile? If you're really happy seeing the value of your portfolio go up and down, which is a term called volatility, then you're going to be comfortable with shares. Now have a chat with a lot of retirees at the moment or pre-retirees whose superannuation funds, which are often heavily involved with shares, have only just returned to pre-GFC levels from 2007, they're probably thinking, maybe I would have preferred to have had more money in property because it doesn't have the same volatility. So if you don't mind volatility, then shares are perfectly okay. If your risk profile is a little bit on the lower side, then property may be an asset class for you to have a think about. Now, what we know is that as a general rule of thumb, Shares and property perform at roughly the same results, give or take, over the last 10 or 20 years. Different research is going to show different figures, and the figures that I showed you before were actually compiled by the Australian Stock Exchange. So it's no surprise they're a little bit more weighted towards the share market. Now I could show you some figures from property related companies that show property is also the better performing asset. But that's not really the question. The question is, how do we actually make money from the money that we're earning so when we get to retirement, we're not in a position where we have to rely on the pension? So which one is better? Well, the answer is they're both pretty good. But what it comes down to is your appetite for risk, whether you actually want to leverage your money with shares, which is called a margin loan, and that does have huge swings, whereas residential property you can leverage your money and banks do lend a lot more money on residential property because the banks themselves perceive it to be a lower level of risk. Would we ever advocate that you put all of your money into shares or all of your money into property? No, we wouldn't. We think that balance is important. But ultimately, what you invest in comes down to what you're most comfortable with. If you're most comfortable with shares, look to have shares in your portfolio and have that as the higher weighting. If you're more comfortable with property and you see property is more stable, then have a higher level of property sitting in your portfolio. Now the key thing is, like any investment, you can't just go and buy any share and expect that it's going to perform at 9% plus per annum. And it's exactly the same with the property market. You can't just go out and buy anything and expect that that property is going to perform at the same rate as the average across the entire country. The reality is with both shares and property, some shares perform a lot higher 
and some shares don't perform at all. And it's the same for property. Really good investments will outperform the average. A really bad investment won't. Whether it's shares or property or wine, if you get a good wine and you put it down, it's going to improve in value over 10 years. If you get a bad wine and you put it down and you open it after 10 years, it's still going to be a bad wine. It's just 10 years older. So the main thing is do your homework, invest in what you feel comfortable in, and if you're not sure, get advice. Now at Blackburn, we help people look at property and through Blackburn Wealth Protect, we also help people look at their superannuation and their retirement planning as Blackburn Wealth Protect is a fully licensed ASIC regulated company in the financial planning industry. So if you'd like some more information on that, don't hesitate to give me a call on 1300 invest or go to blackburninvest.com.au. I'm Rowan Taylor, Director of Financial Services here at Blackburn.